Yo, what is up you guys? Zumi Fiasco here, and I have early access to the week 6 challenges, and I'm going to be showing you how to complete them all in just 5 minutes. Let's start that timer. Here we go, challenge number one, search supply drops. You need to search three total. All I have to tell you guys on this one is to just stay alive till about mid game or late game as these supply drops tend to spawn more around that time. Listen for the supply drop sound and keep your eyes in the sky. When one comes down, head on over to it, be wary of any enemies, take them all out and grab the supply drops for yourselves. Challenge number two is deal damage with shotguns to opponents and you only need to deal a thousand damage total. This is very simple you guys, just look on a house floor or a building floor, find a shotgun and deal your damage. Aim for the head to get that maximum output. Challenge number three is search chest and loot lake and you need seven total. This is just like any other week with any other chest challenge you guys. I have a pretty efficient route for you. Here is a spot that is pretty new, it was recently added in season four. You can get two chests here, then you want to head on the outskirts over here to the campsite you can find a chest here as well and also guys you want to keep in mind use any resources you can to get to these chests as fast as possible there's going to be people everywhere i'm using impulses and jetpack because i got lucky but anyway there's a chance for a fourth chest to spawn in this little shack here and then you can run out and build up to this tower and then this will also gives you a good vantage point to see where players have been and haven't been yet you can look over the lake and check the boats for chests and you can check the center island for chests make sure when you see a chest you don't worry about opponents you just grab it I made the mistake here trying to get this opponent before I grabbed this chest and he snuck around me and grabbed it before I could. So don't do that. Just grab your chest. Don't worry about it. If you get eliminated, you're going to jump right back into it and get another chest anyway. So that's it, you guys. This is the route I found for you. Hope it helps out. Challenge number four is spray over different carbide or omega posters and you need to spray over seven total. If you guys haven't noticed already, there have been several carbide and omega posters added to the Fortnite Battle Royale map. This first one here is actually located behind Salty Springs on this mountain. And then from here, what you want to do is actually head northeast towards Tomato Town past Dusty Divot. But before you get all the way to Tomato Town, hang a right and go to the Shipping Crate Container Factory. This is an old spot that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Once you go inside, there's an Omega poster located in this spot right here. Now once you guys spray over this one and you start to leave, you're actually going to go towards Tomato Town a little bit more and head to the underground bridge. Once you guys get to this underground bridge, right away if you turn right you can see a carbide poster. Once you spray over this one, that will mark three posters that you can possibly get in one game. Now for the next four locations, these are all separate and you might have to do them all in separate games. The first one is located in Greasy Grove behind the burger shop in the dumpster area. This is a carbide poster. Once you guys spray over this one, the next location is actually at Tilted Towers south entrance coming up from the river. The third location is actually located at the prison. Once you guys get to the prison, just look at the east wall and a broken cell and you can find an Omega poster here. And finally, for the last location, you're going to be heading to the old mansion. And once you guys get here, grab a gun or two to be safe, kick in the front door, and immediately to your left, you'll see the last poster. Now make sure when you guys are spraying these that you're completing your matches in order for them to count and be able to complete this challenge. Challenge number five in this week's treasure is search between a playground, a campsite, and a footprint. So first I'm going to show you guys the clues. The playground is located just outside Greasy Grove behind the burger joint. And then to the north of that you can actually find the campsite up on top of this mountain here. And then heading back south down the hill, down the mountain, you can actually find a broken building with what looks like a giant dinosaur footprint smashed through it. And now from a gameplay perspective you can see up on the right there the campsite on the mountain. Down and to the left a little bit you can see the playground behind the burger shop. And then up straight ahead, you can see the broken building with the footprint in it. And then directly below us in the very centermost point, you can see this little dirt patch in the grass. And that is where this week's treasure is going to be located. Make sure after you grab the star that you complete the game in order for this to count. Challenge number six in this week's elimination challenge is SMG eliminations and you only need three you guys. Coming straight off of week five with SMG damage, we should be relatively getting better at our aim with these SMGs and be able to get these eliminations down pretty well. So all you guys wanna do is find an SMG and it's pretty self-explanatory from there. Just whip it out, deal some damage, knock your opponents down and get them eliminated.
And here we are everyone, the last challenge, eliminate opponents in retail row. You need three eliminations just like any other location elimination challenge. All you guys need to do is obviously land in retail row. This place is going to be popping. Grab yourself a gun as quick as possible. Watch where your enemies are going and adjust accordingly. Don't let your eliminations get taken. Get them all for yourself, okay? You guys will get this done before you know it. Alright everyone, that is 5 minutes. I hope this video really helps you in getting on that grind towards those awesome new dance moves and emotes along with those great looking skins, grinding those battle pass tiers to get the best skin of all, the Omega. I will see you all in the next one, later.